The Duchess Dilemma Unpacking the Meghan Markle Controversy In the world of royal gossip and drama, few figures have sparked as much debate as Meghan Markle. The Duchess of Sussex, once celebrated for her fairy tale romance with Prince Harry, has recently found herself at the heart of a swirling storm of allegations regarding her behavior towards staff. Accusations of creating a toxic work environment and being labeled Duchess Difficult have put a spotlight on her time in the royal family, leading many to question the truth behind the headlines. Let's dive deep into this compelling narrative, navigating the layers of complexity surrounding Meghan Markle and her relationships with those who worked for her. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. The narrative surrounding Meghan Markle is anything but straightforward. On one hand, former aides have come forward to describe a working environment fraught with tension. Reports suggest that Meghan had moments where her behavior could be likened to psycho outbursts, with former staff members claiming they witnessed colleagues being chewed up emotionally. These accounts paint a picture of a woman under immense pressure, navigating the challenges of royal life while grappling with her own mental health struggles. Yet, on the other hand, there are voices defending Meghan, arguing that her moments of frustration are being exaggerated. An unnamed source noted that the fallout from Megxit, the couple's decision to step back from royal duties, likely amplified her perceived shortcomings. They compared her experiences to those of past royals, suggesting that the eccentricities and difficult personalities of figures like Princess Margaret and Prince Andrew were often dismissed or laughed off whereas Meghan's actions were scrutinized under a harsher lens. Hashtag, hashtag the context, a royal roller coaster. To understand the gravity of these allegations, we must first explore the context in which they arose. Meghan Markle entered the royal family amid a frenzy of media attention and public scrutiny. From her American background to her biracial heritage, Meghan was an outsider in many respects. As she navigated her new role, the pressures mounted. In 2018, Jason Knopf, Meghan's press secretary, raised concerns about her behavior, which has resurfaced in light of the recent allegations. These reports highlight a critical moment in royal history, where the traditional boundaries of royal conduct clashed with a modern world demanding authenticity and change. The intense scrutiny on Meghan's actions and mental health has led to a highly polarized discussion. While some argue that her behavior was a byproduct of overwhelming stress, others see it as a reflection of deeper character flaws. One particularly striking anecdote involves a florist who faced a barrage of criticism after they shared a minor detail about a floral arrangement intended for Meghan. The florist reportedly received a 30-minute tirade over the phone, despite not even disclosing her identity as the client. This incident exemplifies the allegedly high expectations and pressures associated with working for the Duchess, leading some to vow never to work with her again, despite the potential prestige of such an association. This story resonates with many who have worked in high-pressure environments, where the stakes are high and the emotional toll can be immense. It raises questions about the balance between maintaining a professional standard and managing personal expectations especially in a world where public perception can make or break a reputation overnight. One of the most poignant aspects of this unfolding drama is the acknowledgement of Meghan's mental health struggles. Reports have indicated that during her time as a royal, she experienced feelings of suicidal ideation. This revelation shifts the narrative from one of simple blame to a more nuanced understanding of the pressure she faced. Mental health is often stigmatized, especially in high-profile circles. The acknowledgement of Meghan's struggles invites empathy, urging us to consider how mental health issues can manifest in various forms, sometimes leading to behavior that can be perceived as difficult or erratic. It also raises awareness about the importance of support systems in stressful environments, where individuals may be grappling with their own demons while trying to meet the expectations of others. Meghan Markle's story is emblematic of the double-edged sword that accompanies fame. While she has garnered immense popularity, she has also attracted a legion of critics. The media frenzy surrounding her every move has created a narrative that often feels more like a soap opera than real life. The label Duchess Difficult has become a shorthand for Meghan's perceived behavior, but it begs the question, how much of this is rooted in reality 
and how much is a construct of media sensationalism. As public figures, royals are often held to impossibly high standards, leaving them vulnerable to harsh judgments that can overshadow their humanity. The media plays a crucial role in shaping public perception, and in Meghan's case, it has been both a blessing and a curse. The constant coverage, whether favorable or unfavorable, has fueled a narrative that often overlooks the complexities of her situation. The daily scrutiny of her actions has turned her life into a spectacle, where every misstep is magnified for public consumption. The recent defense from GB News, claiming that allegations of Meghan's difficult behavior are fabrications, adds another layer of complexity to the narrative. It highlights the ongoing conflict between different media outlets and the portrayal of Meghan as either a victim of circumstance or a villain in her own story. As we navigate this intricate web of accusations, defenses, and media portrayals, it's essential to remember that behind the headlines are real people with real emotions. Meghan Markle, like many others, is a multifaceted individual who has faced unprecedented challenges. While some may view her actions as unprofessional, it's crucial to consider the broader context of her mental health and the pressure she endured. Understanding her story requires us to look beyond the surface and recognize the human experiences that drive behavior, both positive and negative. The saga of Meghan Markle reminds us of the importance of compassion in our judgments. As we dissect the allegations and the resulting narratives, let's strive to approach the situation with empathy. Royal life is not just a fairy tale. It's fraught with challenges that can lead to misunderstandings and misinterpretations. In a world where public opinion can shift in an instant, let's choose to engage in thoughtful discourse rather than sensationalism. The story of Meghan Markle is not just about a title or a scandal. It's a reflection of the complexities of human experience. As we continue to follow her journey, let's remember that every story has multiple sides and that compassion can pave the way for understanding amidst the chaos.